Hi, in this video tutorial we will take a look at the Gradient Map Tool in Photoshop, build its analog in 3D LUT Creator, and see what benefits it can give us. Gradient Map is an adjustment layer that allows you to color the image in different colors based on its brightness. This allows you to create black and white images, various options for sepia, duo toning, etc. Someone asked a question in our official Facebook group regarding this feature in 3D LUT Creator, so I'll show you how to do it. Let's start with the study of this feature in Photoshop. Let's see how it works on neutral colors. I will load a black and white gradient here. For shadows, it is completely black. For lights, it is completely white. Now, I'll apply it to my gradient. We can see that the contrast increases. Let's load the original image into 3D LUT Creator and open the Waveform Analyzer. We see that this is a straight line, that is, this gradient is linear. If we place the gradient map over it, then we get this curve in the Waveform Analyzer. If the smoothless parameter is 100%, which is its default value, then Photoshop builds a gradient non-linearly. Therefore, if you create many such layers, the contrast will increase. In order to eliminate this effect, I set the smoothless parameter to zero. Now the gradient is linear. Let's see now how the gradient map interacts with different colors. I'll load this image and apply this layer to it. We see that the blue color turns into a darker color and yellow into a lighter color. This is a common situation, but let's compare it with other tools, for example with hue saturation. If I remove the saturation, then all the colors are equal. That is, hue saturation does not make such a difference with respect to colors. Now I will compare it with the vibrance. I will reduce the saturation. We see that the saturation works somehow differently. If I reduce the vibrance, then it looks even more differently. And let's try black and white. It also works differently with the default settings. So the task is to get the same desaturation as Gradient Map does. To do this, I will load the desaturated image to 3D LUT Creator and use the Color Chart Grid tool. I will create custom target of size 10 by 20 and stretch it across the entire picture so that it affects all the colors. The main thing is that the points do not fall on this sharp border because the points average the color around them, and this sharp order will be very confusing. I will save this target in a file. This way the target retains all the colors that we had in the image. Now I will disable the gradient map layer and load the already colored image. Now, based on the average deviation, we will be able to estimate how much is what I got in 3D LUT Creator similar to how Gradient Map works. Since I think that the desaturation in the Gradient Map is just a mixture of channels, I will mix all the channels in equal proportions. The easiest way to do this is to manually write the coefficients 0, 0, 100 to the red channel, 0, 0, 100 to the green channel, 0, 0, 100 are already in the blue channel. Thus, we got a desaturation based on the blue channel. Now, you can select all the points and move them. We get a monochrome mixture of different channels. Also, I suspect that all these tools have been developed a long time ago, and therefore they do not take into account the current color profile. So, I turn off gamma correction and set the gamma to 1. Now, I'll move points from the keyboard and look at this number. I will try to make it minimal. zero point zero eight delta e is what i got this is a very good result the differences will be almost invisible i got the following channel numbers twenty nine point seven fifty nine point two eleven point one let's send this LUT to photoshop and if i turn on the gradient map then there's no difference that is, I got the exact analog of black and white gradient map in 3D LUT Creator. Now, let's see how to make it in color. 
Probably the first thing you'll think about is painting it like this, but there's only one color. So this is not the most interesting option. We will paint it with curves. It will be more convenient to do it on a black and white picture. Let's load some other gradient like this one. We will load it as a reference in 3D LUT Creator. In order to load an image from Photoshop as a reference, you need to press and hold the control key and press Image from PS button. This image is loaded as a reference. I will load the original gradient as the original image simply by pressing Image from PS. And I'll turn on the comparison mode. It is necessary to repaint this gradient in this one. For this, I will use the exact tool in Curves. What this tool does. It has a field for specifying the color. When I click on the picture, it paints the image in this color. If I click on the reference, it takes the color off the reference. So I click on the reference at the beginning of the gradient and then click on the same place on my gradient. I click in the middle of the reference and then click in the middle of my image. I repeat the same with the right edge. There are some differences, so we'll fix them. I click between blue and yellow on the reference to pick up the color I want, and then click on my image to paste it there. I will do the same with the right part. Thus, we recreated the gradient map tool from Photoshop. Let's place it on some image. First, I will use the original tool. This is what we got as a result. And now I'll use LUT. I got almost the same thing. The only difference is that I clicked the horizontal axis of the image inaccurately. By the way, these gradients can be compared in the waveform analyzer, so that's what we got. And this is what Photoshop does. So I showed how to achieve the same result as with the gradient map in Photoshop, only with other tools. So there's no need to add it to 3D LUT Creator. And now let's see how else we can use it. For example, we can create a false colors gradient. This is a function in monitors which displays brightness in different colors. Let the black colors be blue and midtones be green. And bright tones will be red. With the help of such an instrument, I can more clearly see where I have highlights or dark shadows. These curves can be made even sharper. That is, dark places in the image become blue, and the bright places in the image become red. And both in this case and in the case of the gradient map, we use the brightness for the foundation. And what if we want to display saturation in the same way? Let's turn off these tools and switch to masks. There are a huge number of channels to choose from on the basis of which a mask is built. I will choose the saturation here. If I turn on the mask preview, now the low saturated colors will be displayed in black and the oversaturated colors will be displayed in white. For example, a white blouse and white dots on a skirt are close to neutral, so they are displayed in black. The skin has an average saturation and the boat and water have the maximum saturation. How do we now apply curves to this? We can, without turning off the mask preview, compile it into a separate LUT. To do this, I'll click on Compile 3D LUT and copy it as External LUT. I will not choose Reset Settings since we already have curves. Now I can turn off the mask and this LUT is now applied at the beginning of processing. It turns saturation into brightness. There is no point in desaturating it because it is already desaturated. So I just turn on the curves. We got a gradient map which is built on the basis of saturation. That is, the colors close to neutrals became blue, the medium saturated colors became green, and the oversaturated places became red. This LUT is convenient to have so that you can control the saturation of your image. For example, you have been retouching for a long time, your vision is blurred, and you no longer notice the place where there is too much saturation. Then you can load such LUT and check whether everything is in order or if it needs fixing in some places. So I hope this video was useful to you. 
You can experiment with various parameters to create these gradient maps by yourself. I will go a few steps back in the history window. In the case of the traditional gradient map, you can use the master section to change the degree of the gradient map overlay, and also to limit the effect on individual image parameters. For example, you can limit the effects on the brightness of the image, leaving only hue and saturation to weaken the effect on the hue, leaving only saturation and getting different tonings. That's before, and here's after. That's all. Like and subscribe. Bye.